Hi everyone, it's Amory and Erin, and we are going to demo for you today how to interview someone. So if you are looking at the professional field research option for essay number one, we wanted to just give you what an interview via Zoom might look like. And I would start off with Erin. Thank you so much for agreeing to be interviewed. Uh, as I mentioned in my email to you, I am writing a paper for my English composition course, and one of the options was that we were able to interview somebody in the field we want to go into. And so you're the first person I thought, and I really appreciate your time. And if it's okay with you, I am recording this on Zoom uh, so that I can watch it and make sure that I get your quotes correctly. Is that all right with you? Absolutely, Amory. Happy to be here. Happy to help you out. Uh, Thank you. I, I do have to mention that um, I'm in between meetings here, so probably only have about 10 minutes. Uh, okay. I don't know if we'll be able to get through all 10 questions. So if you want to maybe pick pick out five or six, uh, okay. and then I can email you the rest of the responses later. Wonderful. That sounds great. I appreciate you letting me know that. So if I can just have you start by telling us um, your title, how long you've worked at Western, how long you've co-taught, and um, any specialty areas you focus on. Sure. So uh, my title is an embedded support instructor, and I am with the Division of Learner Support and Transition. Um, I've been in this role for, well, you know, the, the role has actually evolved um, since I've started at Western five years ago. Um, I, I think my role began as um, maybe like intervention specialist, or I don't know if it was, was really defined. I think I've always been a support instructor, um, but an embedded support instructor, I think is, is relatively new, maybe within the last few years. Um, so within that role, I am a co-teacher and I co-teach English composition courses. And that is my specialty area. And I, I don't know that it's because, well, it's, I don't have an English background per se. So um, it's just an area I think that I was initially placed and it's one that I've stuck with and grown with. And I think because of my experience, uh, it's it's an area that I'll that I'll probably stay in, um, and I, I think you know my my English composition skills have probably uh, increased since I've been in this role. I bet that's awesome. All right, so you mentioned co-teaching, which is perfect because that's what I wanted to focus our interview on. I wanted to learn a little bit more about co-teaching. Can you tell us what your definition of a co-teacher or co-instructor is? Sure. So there's a few different models of co-teaching, um, but one basic definition I can tell you is it's two instructors teaching the same course, uh, whether it's side by side or parallel, or maybe in, in could be different environments or at different times, um, but typically in the same venue at the same time, teaching the same content. And what are the benefits or the reasons why we might want to co-teach? Sure, so there's numerous benefits. Uh, Western started the co-teaching model, I think as a strategy for retention. Uh, the idea is that two instructors in the classroom um, can support more students. There's more time available to support students. Um, there's more attention given to students both in and outside the classroom. And instructors can share in the planning process, um, which can lead to greater differentiated instruction um, and ultimately more equitable teaching and learning. And since I'm not familiar with that term, could you define for me what you mean by differentiated instruction? Sure, absolutely. So everybody learns differently. And by differ differentiating instruction, we're looking at 
different methods, different styles, uh, different ways for students to learn the content. So it may be that we're designing a lesson um, in different ways so that students can access it the way that makes sense to them. So maybe we provide something hands-on or maybe we provide a video or you know, maybe we have students work in small groups. Um, it all sort of depends on, on the needs of the student and uh, what we're trying to achieve from the lesson. Um, yeah, and, and, and what we know works in the classroom. So with two instructors, you're, you're able to accomplish those things a little easier. Um, and with two heads together, I think you can come up with probably richer content and mm -hmm more ideas and I think it it's it's an easier way to sort of provide students what they need if, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So how many uh, different teachers or instructors do you work with? Right now I work with three different instructors. Um, so two of them are in the classroom and then um, one of those instructors that I'm in the classroom with, we also teach online together. And then I have a, a co-instructor that's just online. And um, let me take a look at my questions. What do you love about it? Well, you know, actually I think it's kind of fun. Uh, I, I enjoy being in the classroom with someone else. And I, I think, um, yeah, I love being able to share my knowledge with someone else and, and have someone else learn from me as well. I think students enjoy having two instructors in the classroom. Not only are, are they getting more support, but I, I think they kind of like the variety, um, you know, different styles. And um, yeah, I, I think uh, it could be more engaging to students. Um, but yeah, I. I, I love the interaction with, with other instructors. And also, uh, I love being able to interact with, with an entire class of students. Before, when I first started my role in learner support and transition, I was working with um, a smaller group of students at a time. Um, but now I'm, I'm seeing a lot of students and, and I love being able to um, just, just work with and, and meet more, more students. That's more variety for you too. More Absolutely. Variety. Yep. Yeah, that's cool. Um, is there anything you could change about it if you could? Well, I think um, sometimes the amount of courses that I'm placed in can be challenging to juggle. So, for instance, I I'm co-teaching nine different sections. So those are, that's both online and in person. That's a lot of students to keep track of. Um, you know, especially online is, is, is really challenging because we don't see, obviously we don't see a face uh, unless students are reaching out to us and we're working with them individually. Um, but it's just, it's a lot of case management and um, trying to help students along and, and maybe figuring out where they're at if they disappear. And, and it can, it can be daunting um, as we get deeper into the term uh, to try to manage all of those students. I would say that, you know, with the online courses anyway, there's an average of about 20 students. So I think this term potentially I'm working with, uh, let's see, you gotta do a little math here. Uh, you know, potentially 180 students, which, which is a lot to juggle. I, uh, I don't think it's quite that many, but um, yeah, anyway, it's a lot. It could be up to that many. It could be, yeah. Yeah, is, is nine common every term you teach? No, I think this term, I'm probably a little bit more loaded. Um, the fall term was just slightly lighter, and then the summer term will be probably half that number. Okay. Okay, nine seems like a lot. I yeah, keep yeah. Trying to keep track of almost 200 students. <laughs> right. Never met them, being really challenging. Right, absolutely. I, I can't imagine just being one person, one instructor, and 
having to do that, I, I just don't think it'd be possible. No. So another benefit of co-teaching is that you can share in that, uh, that case management part of it. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, have you noticed a difference in the way that students respond to you as a co-teacher or have you noticed improved student performance over the last few years you've been doing this? I'm not sure that we have enough data yet to determine whether student performance has been affected by co-teaching. Um, certainly, I can see the benefit directly. I, 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 I know my co-instructors can as well. I know that uh, students are appreciative to have the extra attention um, and time spent with them. So I do s individually, I, I, I definitely see, see a difference, um, but it's hard to kind of see the difference as a, as a whole, uh, because I, I'm just not sure that we have the data quite yet to support that. Do you know if there is somebody gatekeeping that information? I shouldn't say gatekeeping. Somebody who is recording that information for review um, that will determine whether we continue? That's a good question. <laughs> I imagine that uh, academic excellence probably is um, probably in charge of, of that data, but I, I guess I don't know for sure. Okay. Okay. That's fair. Well, I see that we're at the 10 minute mark and I don't want to take up more of your time than I, than I need to, uh, since you have another appointment to get to. So I will send you my remaining questions via email. And, um, if you can get those back to me within a couple of days, that'd be great. I am, I have a deadline of, uh, two or three weeks from now to get my paper done. So, um, I will add any follow-up. I'll kind of summarize what we talked about. And again, I appreciate you taking your time to meet with me and answer my questions. You bet, Emery. Happy to be here. And let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Thank you so much.